My name is George Friedman. I'm the materials editor for Dentistry Today. Today we'll be showcasing the Air Techniques digital X-ray system, the ScanX system, which is an excellent platform that enables dentists and dental teams to obtain comfortably and easily the X-rays needed for diagnostics for patient care. Today's dental practitioner can utilize dental imaging without limits. The ScanX family of sensors and films can provide an excellent platform for every need in the dental practice. For example, any size x-ray can be displayed within seconds. We completely eliminate the darkroom, the purchase and storage of films, toxic chemical handling and disposal. We can share data with insurance companies and specialists through DICOM, email and so on. We enhance patient care and communication because they can see what is being done in their mouths. Digital ScanX sensors ensure every image is easy and comfortable. One of the major concerns for practitioners in digital radiography is the diagnostic area, or as it's known, the image area. Some of the digital radiography platforms have rather small diagnostic surfaces. The ScanX has 1080 millimeters squared of diagnostic surface, in effect just about the same size as the traditional analog x-ray film. This provides for more information and is very similar to what we've been accustomed to uh, for many decades of practice. The issue of sensor thickness is something that dentists and uh, the dental team don't often worry about but is of great importance to the patient. An analog or traditional x-ray film is about 1.0 millimeters in thickness. Some of the digital uh, sensors uh, that are wired go from 7 to 8 millimeters or thicker. All this has to be put into the patient's mouth in between the tongue and the uh, lower arch. The ScanX, including the barrier, is four-tenths of a millimeter thick. In effect, half as thick as our original analog x-ray film. The next issue is that of sensor wire thickness. This is something that very often is not immediately observable. But any wired sensor has a thickness of wire that must go in between the teeth. This separates the teeth and leaves an area of darkness, totally non-diagnostic, that doesn't show any oral tissues. And this is the wire that has to go in between the teeth to allow the sensor to be placed on the lingual. This is a typical sensor wire thickness. If we take a look at analog films or wireless sensors, such as the Air Technics ScanX, when they are placed in between the teeth, since there is no wire, it's simply a matter of closing the teeth on a flat plate. And this takes up virtually no room in between the teeth and uh, as such doesn't separate the teeth. Occlusals uh, are uh, definitely visible, but so are the periodontal tissues and very often the periodontal bone. Scanix phosphor plate images are very high quality, 22 line pairs per millimeter. And they come in every size, including 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, CEF and PAN. During the scanning process, the scanner removes all the data from the sensor. And then when the sensor comes out of the scanner, it is ready for its next use. ScanX images are useful for endodontics, uh, for evaluation uh, during treatment and post-treatment, for pediatric dentistry, and for evaluating the entire crown and radicular portions of teeth at the same time. ScanX pan images are almost good enough in quality to do uh, diagnostics for interproximal decay, although they're not really indicated for that. The CEFs are very high quality and excellent for orthodontics. The ScanX sensor is very easy to use. This is the number two size sensor, which uh, corresponds to the traditional bite wing film. Here is the bite wing film size, and it's approximately the same 
as the ScanX sensor. In comparing the size of our phosphor plate sensors to our traditional analog films, you can actually see that the traditional bite wing film is just about the same size as our number two ScanX sensor. The ScanX sensor is even thinner than the traditional analog film. Wire digital sensors are too thick and too rigid to bend. Our traditional analog films were bendable for patient comfort and to get around anatomic landmarks. The ScanX digital sensor is also flexible. It can be bent to a certain point. If it's bent beyond this uh, point, the surface can be damaged. But this is tremendously comfortable for patients and gets around all the necessary anatomic areas in the mouth. Once the sensor has been radiographically exposed in the patient's mouth, it is brought to the ScanX Swift scanner. It is taken out of the infection control barrier and the sensor is dropped into the slot on the scanner. The scanner will develop this over the next few seconds. The sensor, which is now being cleaned of information and is ready for the next use, drops out at the bottom of the Swift scanner. The patient is ready to have the radiograph taken. The sensor is placed inside the barrier, inside the x-ray positioning device. It can actually be bent a little bit to make it more comfortable inside the patient's mouth. It is positioned for the appropriate radiograph that is about to be taken, and the x-ray unit is placed around the ring. We see a close-up of how comfortable the patient is and how closely the teeth can be closed in order to show all the uh, coronal and as much radicular information as possible. The ability to be able to show the patient on a large screen exactly what is going on in their mouth radiographically is tremendous for diagnostics and co-diagnostics because the patient becomes involved in the treatment process itself. For example, here we're looking at a radiograph of the right side. And Jennifer, you can see that that tooth that has the very large filling there on the bottom right is probably going to require a crown. The patient sees very readily exactly why we are making that decision and can participate in that. The ScanX wireless digital x-ray system is very versatile and most important of all, very comfortable for your patients, more comfortable than the old analog x-ray films that we used to use. If you are looking to switch to a digital x-ray system, it's definitely worth taking a look at ScanX.